Today's word of encouragement comes from Jeremiah 32, verse 17. It says, Ah, Lord God, behold, you have made the heavens and the earth by your great power. You know, when you, you last walked in the park, you might have overlooked one of God's great creations, moss. You know, we think about um, how God has created all these great things in the earth, and we are able to use those resources to make a lot of great things that we marvel over now. And look at the computer technology that we have that God has given us the ability to create as business owners. But you can stop and take a look at some of the raw materials that we have to work with. Amy Martin is an expert on moss, and she's known as Mawson Annie. And she had written this book called The Magical World of Moss Gardening, <laughs> which is supposed to be required reading for moss gardeners. Even a brief study on this subject just amaze, can amaze you at the ingenious way that God has designed all of his creation. There are at least 10,000 moss species Unlike other plants, moss doesn't have roots. It can grow on top of rocks, pavement, logs, and dirt. And it doesn't need fertilizer or pesticides or, you know, are completely unnecessary. It prevents erosion of the forest floor. And it can grow where other plants will die. There can be hundreds or even thousands of separate moss plants in a single mound of moss. And some botanical centers are promoting moss gardens as an important part of a balanced ecosystem. The next time you take a walk, take a look at a bit of moss with a magnifying glass and see the incredible beauty and complexity of God's creation. It's pervasive. Even in what you might call God's choice carpet. With that word of encouragement, God bless. We'll talk to you soon.